hello everyone so in this part of the video what i'll be teaching guys is that i need to make sure that whenever i would like when i click on book 2 i should be only be receiving whatever the content of book 2 only so for example let's see if i click on let's say go to our uh yeah this is the browser here so let's see if i click on book one and as you can see you have this parameter your as one which is id one that we that's already been passed and when i click on book two and it's it shows two here and this is basically the parameter that we would like to make use of it and make it a usable id so that we are able to uh, dynamically show the uh, uh, that particular id into our book.js page here so how are we able to do that is that okay currently as you can see this is the parameter id which is the this is the dynamic uh, dynamically uh, passed uh, id here it can be anything so in this case id is being passed or id of the book is being passed so not it's passing to the book element called book here so whenever we go when you go to this page which is the book page we need to receive it in this case so how are we able to receive it is that we need to use use params so let's go and import use um, this case i'm just going to say use params which directly comes from react router dom it's also so as you can see what you can do inside here we're gonna we're gonna have uh, let's say this is constant and we're gonna say id and since use params is actually being used as the uh, as the one that as the as the last uh, as you can see this is the yeah id this is the last uh, uh, part of the slash which happens to be the id which we are gonna i mean this particular use params will capture it and make it make it as a use params function and it will store it inside id so this is how we are able to show this particular uh, id that whatever whatever not just id whatever uh, that you would like to show that right comes right after this box book dot slash to be used inside your book uh, component here so this, i will say this is book page I'm just gonna say i'll be just passing this id here for example like this and uh, wait sorry and this is, i would say this is book this is book page one let's say if it was one and then i would say one and then let's go and hit save and let's go to our normal here and wait, let me just wait let me just go to home first before testing that out so but let's say if i click on book one here as you can see this is one and and as well as here and this is basically use params function is capturing whatever whatever id that comes here and it's just directly just getting it here and then just showing it here and that's what we're doing and let's see if i click on book 2 here and it's just doing the same thing and that's the basic idea of use param function is all about and i hope you are able to understand this particular function this part of the video and thank you guys for watching let's meet in the next episode